Hey guys, I'm back with another unboxing. Um, I picked up a Raspberry Pi 3 from Amazon and it comes with the power adapter and a clear case um, and two heat sinks uh, for 50 bucks. Uh, you get a portable tiny little computer that you can do so much with. Um, for me, I'm going to use it to build a um, uh, I'm gonna put some uh, old school games on it. So I'm gonna run some emulators on it. I'm gonna try to build like a retro pie kind of thing. So just want to show you what um, what I got. So here's how it came. And so this is the power adapter. This is probably the case and this is probably the retro pie right here. So let me just unbox this for you. This is about $50 on Amazon. It has well over a thousand reviews. Um, and it's about four and a half stars. So. Wildly popular. So this is the power supply of the Raspberry Pi and this should just be a your typical uh, micro USB plug. So there it is, micro USB and then to your outlet it says Tanikit right there. Premium case for Raspberry Pi. I mean, if this is the case, you can imagine how small the Raspberry Pi is. For some reason, I thought this case would be a little bit more tinted. But as you can see here, it's uh, actually very clear. It has the Raspberry Pi logo right here. And it, these are cut out so it's like uh, vents. You can see there's also an opening right here all the way across for venting. And also all of the bottom pretty much has holes. Uh, non-slip feet right here. I wouldn't say they're rubberized. They're more like foam um, Openings for the various ports HDMI and power is probably this this is gonna be the micro SD slot right there so This comes right off So the top of the pie lines up with these three ports right here in case you forget which orientation it goes. It tells you right there this this is for the LAN cable, the first one right here. Um, this is for USB and this is for USB as well. I think this piece snaps off too. Yeah, if you pry it, it comes right off. way it goes. So there's like two teeth right here. They look like fangs. Um, it goes on the side with two of these long little stubs right here. So that's how I remember it. So it'll go like this. I'll keep it just like that so that we know the orientation. Here are the two heat sinks that go in the chips. Regulatory compliance and safety information. Pretty bulky pack. Here's the anti-static bag with the 
Raspberry Pi inside. I've seen some people get packages uh, where this comes in like a takeout bag, doggy bag or something. So this is just a plain um, bag, anti-static bag. So it has that new computer chip smell to it. <laughs> So there's there's a LAN port, there's two USBs, and there's two more USBs. Here's the micro SD slot right here. And on the side you have the HDMI, the power, um, and this looks like a micro USB. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh no, no, this is the micro USB for power, yes. This is the audio jack, bro. That's probably yeah, it says AV right here on the side on the, of the chip. I don't know if you can see it. Um, here's the big chip right here for the large heat sink and there's the one for the small one and that's it. Yeah, so this is a Pi 3 uh, Model B. Okay, actually I'm gonna install this Raspberry Pi into the case and see So it should go like this. Um, it does fit kind of snugly, so you want to be careful. So I guess the key is to slide this side in first and then put it down. So slide the end opposite from the ports in under the tabs. push down and it should line up perfectly like that okay so this side first Done. This is it. That's all it is. That's all it takes to assemble a Raspberry Pi into this clear case. Super simple. Uh, it already has Wi-Fi, so there's four USB ports that you can plug in, um, like a keyboard, a mouse, a controller, anything. Um, there's a LAN cable right here, but it already has Wi-Fi. So for 50 bucks, you get a full-blown computer. This is awesome. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna build a RetroPie um, arcade cabinet out of this. This will be the brains of the system. Um, everything's gonna boot off of a micro SD card um, along with the ROMs. Uh, so it should be pretty amazing. I, I ordered the cabinet today from eBay, so it'll be in about a week. Um, I should have it set up uh, within the next month or so because I still have to assemble the joystick and the controllers and everything from scratch. Um, okay, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'd like to get to a thousand subscribers ASAP, so help me out if you can. And I'll see you next time.